Hello, I'm just here to give a quick look at a new aquarium that we just built. Uh, just an uh, overview of this general setup, uh, the cost, and a brief overview of the equipment we used. So the tank itself uh, is about 50 gallons, a little less with that lowered water line. Uh, right now we've got a pretty large goldfish, a few other fish, and a small musk turtle. The turtle is going to get to be about four or five inches in length as an adult, and with the goldfish, they're pretty messy animals. So the tank is going to have a pretty heavy bio load. Typically, the filter size you want will filter almost your entire water volume at about three times per hour. Um, but with this heavy load, we've got a setup that filters twice that, almost six times per hour. The filter is a canister filter set down below the tank. Uh, BHW302 housed inside a small compartment with the back on it to keep the noise level down. But the filter itself is very quiet. You can barely hear it running. The air pump that runs a bubble wand is about the loudest and it's mounted on the side here. But the filter itself is very silent. This filter isn't very expensive. You can get it for about $60 online and it comes with everything you need to get set up. It's a good set of attachments to fit your size tank, a top skimmer, a spray bar, and Compared to the other types of filters, this is really the best one you can get. The stand uh, was handmade with a pine 2x4 frame. It's real sturdy. Uh, there's a solid oak outer skin. And it's real nice wood, and it just looks good as a display tank. Uh, the typical stands you get at the retail store are not really very sturdy, uh, just enough to hold up your tank. And it's just a good idea to spend a little extra money on a real wood piece uh, rather than a laminate or something. Uh, this stand has a hood on top and both ends cover up the frame of the tank and it just gives it a real uh, professional finish. Everything in here is connected to a couple of power strips and some cheap timers run the various lighting and air. Uh, the filter runs constantly but I split the photo period of the lights to about three hours in the morning and three in the evening with blue night light for dusk and dawn and totally dark at night. For the lighting uh, for the plants, we have uh, all low to moderate plants. We want at least one to two watts per gallon, and, and that's what we've got here, about 80 total watts for a 50 gallon, so about 1.6. That's not including the, the heat lamp and the UVB lamp uh, for the turtle. The temperature uh, for the turtle and the fish should be between 78, 80, lower 80 degrees. And to do that with the closed hood, uh, there are two fans running, uh, one blowing air onto the surface of the water, uh, which increases the evaporation and naturally cools that water, and another to expel heat out of the hood. Uh, this is especially important because we have an extra UVB lamp and a heat light for the turtle basking area. Even though for this particular turtle it's a stink pot musk, uh, it doesn't really bask very often, um, but you do want to make sure that you still have that available to it. These are high-speed alternating current fans, uh, and they produce quite a bit of airflow, but they're also very quiet, so you can't really hear them when they're running. The top of the tank is covered with a white egg crate. Uh, it's the kind that's used in fluorescent light fixtures. And the point of that is to keep the fish and everything from jumping out. Uh, you can have a glass top, but that lowers your evaporation rate. And in this case, we want the evaporation because we need to cool down the water rather than heat it up. Um, and it also helps keep the water pretty well oxygenated. The scaping uh, isn't professional, of course. I'm just an amateur, but I did try to plan it out. And that's the key to any aquascape is that you want to have a plan. And this one I divided into threes. On the left is the rock area, the middle is kind of open, the right is sloped up uh, with plants and driftwood. It all kinds of com come together in a, in a U-shape. Left is more foreground, elements are toward the front. Uh, the middle, uh, again, is open, and the right, all the elements are kind of pushed into the background of the midground. It doesn't have to cost too much. The plants are usually pricey, but the rocks, I bought them all from a landscaper for $8. Uh, the wood I just gathered from a freshwater lake. I did do a real soil substrate, uh, which helps provide nutrients to the plants, uh, just using an organic potting soil from Home Depot. Uh, some aquarium rocks on the left, uh, and some pool, pool filter sand uh, on the right, just to cap it off. The sand is a lot easier to clean than the rocks, uh, just because everything stays up on top and nothing gets trapped in any little tiny crevices or anything. So how much would a setup like this cost? Uh, well, with the tank, 
uh, that I bought used. Uh, all the wood, the hardware for the stand, uh, the plant substrate, equipment, fish, turtle. Uh, you could probably expect to pay almost 800 for everything. So that's it. Uh, I hope this was informative. I hope it helped you uh, decide on any equipment or setup you might get. Uh, thanks for looking.